Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector is back, and we got a, another figure we're going to be reviewing this week, but just to state this, I won't be doing any side videos, as you know. I'm heading to my favorite thrift store, so that's all I'm going to say. But we are going to review Transformers Legacy Predacon Sandstorm. And this is a repaint of the Scorponok mold, which I do not own. But otherwise, I got this figure from Ross. Eight bucks, and this figure was originally sixteen dollars. Wow, that was when this figure was brand new. Wow, nice artwork of Sandstorm here. Gonna turn around the box. Got a shot of Sandstorm in his robot mode and his Scorpion mode, which I have him in. Hasbro and all that information and that's all there is to say For the package and let's get down to looking at this figure Ooh, Funny silly tripod of mine Articulation the arms are on a hinge Get him some good poses and be like my cyber V will spy on the Autobots Autobots, I mean not Autobots, but the Maximals when I launch my Cyber Bee to spy on the Maximals, Maximals. And yeah, he's pretty cool. Eat my missiles, Maximal scum. I'm a scorpion and I'm going to do what I want. And I'll sting you with my stinging tail. Shame this tail is not on a ball joint or this figure would have been cool. But now, for comparisons... Here we have the Sandstorm Predacon next to Leader Megatron. Why not? He's Megatron. I don't have the Kingdoms one, so this is the best figure I got. Here is the Predacon. I don't know his name, but I just call him Death Pincher because he's just that freaky of a crab. My black, my uh, panther from McDonald's, but I made his head into a Ravage repaint. So, otherwise, that's my custom Ravage. And of course, the McDonald's figure that reminds me of Tarantulas, the spider. Why not? But now, let's get down to transforming it. First, we pull the leg down, pull the other leg out, if I can get it free. Might have to get in there with my nails. Come on. I wish my nails weren't clipped. It's always harder when your nails are clipped. You gotta get in there with your fingernails and free up the leg and junk. We got one leg done. Flip out the foot. Second verse. Just like the first. Straighten out the leg. Good. Make sure this goes in there. Okay. Turn around the head. Why not? Flip these legs in. I can get it to work with me here. And there we go. There is his, his scorpion legs in. Flip out flip down his arms like so you can leave a scorpion tail like that or you can accordion it in the back if you want it's an option and options are good and here we got sandstorm so far in his robot mode we just here's sandstorm in his robot mode and this is a pretty cool figure and there goes his head <laughs> it decided to pop off pop out of the ball joint sorry about that it is a legacy figure so it does do that 
And this head sculpt, it's the same as Scorponok, just a repaint and a different head style. But there he is. Scorponok in his robot mode. Articulation, bend at the knee, ankle tilt, that's through the transformation. Ankle tilt. He can move his feet. Pretty cool. But otherwise, a good looking figure. Ball jointed head. Tail is not on a ball joint. But you can't get some poses like he's going to sting you with that stinger of his. Why not? I dare I say why not? But now it's time for some comparison. I'm going to transform Beast Wars Megatron back into his robot mode. Very simple, since I've got that transformation memorized, though. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Come on, Megatron. Work with me here. Okay, and we're gonna flip out his heels off camera. And here we got Predacon Leader, Megatron. Why not? Dare I say, why not? He's an easy figure to transform from the 80s. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And here we got my figure of another Predacon. I don't know his name or if he is a Predacon or not. But he could totally be a Predacon with the red eyes. Why not? He's creepy enough to be a Predacon. Here is uh, Panther. And these figures are in the same scale as Panther, except for Megatron. He's taller than that figure. Why not? And dare I say, why not? And just because here's the McDonald's tarantulas like figure. So we're going to get a big group shot of comparisons with Sandstorm, which he's going to be right here in the middle. And he's less bigger than Rhinox. From Kingdoms. He is not on the same scale as he's less bigger than Rat Trap. And this is the original Rat Trap, not the uh not the uh Beast Wars or Kingdoms edition with another figure also from the same line. Panther Night Prowl. AKA Cheetor. And he is less smaller than Optimus Primal. He is a little bit bigger than Optimus Primal with the tail, with the fossilizer from Kingdoms. And finally, and last but not least, another original Beast Wars figure. I don't know the name. I do know the name. His name is Drill Bit. And yeah, this is my entire Beast Wars Transformers collection. Yeah, Sandstorm fits well in with all my Beast Wars. Megatron, Optimus Primal, Night Prowl, Rhinox, Rat Trap. Ravage, Tarantulas, and all my other Beast Wars. He fits in quite well with this collection. And how many of these do I own this year? One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I own 11 Transformers Beast Wars this year. And I'm always on the hunt for some more Beast Wars. Yes. I love saying that. If you like this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you please. And I would love to have you as further subscribing to my channel and helping my channel grow. You guys are awesome. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.